Uh, Hawkeyes looking to bounce back today against arch rival Minnesota. The Gophers, though, are five and three on the road uh, and at neutral site games. And given this rivalry, the Hawks know they'll get their best shot. The Hawks are hoping their depth and home cooking will provide a tonic for success. And the Hawkeyes have the added disadvantage of playing today without their head coach, Fran McCaffrey, who could miss a couple games after testing positive for COVID. In the meantime, interim head coach Billy Taylor has taken over the reins and, and why not in fact Billy Taylor's coached as a head man in over 400 games for two minutes gone opening period Hawks off to a slow start Deacon Murray works his way in baseline left to right hook layup is good pretty move around Jamison battle Keegan back all the way for the Hawkeyes shot is up good off the glass and counted a foul called it'll be an and one for Keegan Murray stolen away by Keegan Murray Keegan's one on two catching up as McCaffrey for an emphatic dunk Patrick McCaffrey ties the game Patrick McCaffrey running right down the middle of the court Keegan gives it up give the assist to Keegan Murray Patrick with the two hand finish over the top Bohannon with a three in transition God, he's two for two and I has its first lead at 13-12. Yeah, it looks like Jordan much more comfortable at that point guard spot where he can control the flow of the game. Here's Aaron Eulis into the game at the shooting guard. Aaron drives through the lane to the baseline. Pull up jumper is good. Aaron Eulis. Here's a long wing jumper. Good by Peyton Sanford. Absolutely, and no waste of time there. Bohannon has the rebound. Karam to him. Patrick McCaffrey's open in the corner. Three ball is good. Tie game at 23. Back come the Hawks. Tony Perkins, a bounce in the lane of McCaffrey. Turn around, shot, no good. Keegan Murray with an offensive rebound, up and in. Keegan ripped it away from the smaller Peyton Willis. Here's Keegan Murray driving inside, scores with the left hand. Left hand off the window, and we're tied at 31. Took the freshman to the woodshed right there. Chris Murray with a catch at the foul line. To the wing to brother Keegan. Keegan, a step back jump around the way. Good. Oh, is that pretty? When he gets his feet set and those shoulders square, that's a work of art. Perkins throws it away on the inbounds. Minnesota will get a shot. Oh, he made it. At the buzzer, and it goes in. Luke Lowy banks it in from the square. <laughs> well, down 38-34. Perkins and Bohanna started the guard court. Here's a jump shot. Good from the foul line by Philip Robrachip. Patrick McCaffrey, again, same play. Down the right side of the lane, popped it in off the window. And the Hawks back to within two, 44-42. And Keegan Murray wants the basketball. He drives hard in from the left baseline. Scoop layup is good. Split a double team up in the air, stayed suspended. Minnesota by one. Keegan Murray thought about a three. He lets fly. Good. There's nobody better in the country than clutch baskets. Skip pass to Rabracha. He drives hard to the baseline. Tries to get into the paint on Curry. Jump hook. Good by Rabracha. Talks running. Euless layup. Good. Great pass by Sanford. Really good pass by Sanford. Here come the Hawks now trying to turn that turnover into points. Euless for three. Good. They're falling for AU now. Here's Sanford back, scores in transition. Little running floater in the lane. Timeout, Minnesota. The Hawks lead it by seven. That's her biggest lead of the day. Here's Eulis on the wing. Chris Murray lobs up a three. Good! Here comes that Hawkeye offense. And he throws to the wing now to battle. Ooh. Double team and a strip and a steal by Eulis. Eulis is heading for the layup. Shot good. Now to Chris Murray. Backdoor feed for Keegan Murray for the dunk. That's brotherly love. Knew where he got to throw it. He'll go get it. Great play that time. Keegan Murray catching traffic. Great effort by the Hawks. Final score, Iowa 71 and Minnesota 59. As the Hawkeyes wear down Minnesota in the second half and win it by 12. The Heartland is brought to you by the University of Iowa Healthcare. Changing medicine, changing lives. And by Athletico Physical Therapy. It all starts here. As tonight, we are at the Kohl Center in Madison, Wisconsin, Iowa and Wisconsin. But this is a series that the Hawkeyes have thoroughly dominated. Park at the top of the key for the Hawkeyes. Sends it right side, Kate Martin, three-pointer. Drills it, Kate Martin from the right wing. Caitlin will step back 16 footer gets it to go straight away. Caitlin Clark's first basket. 
Clark whips a pass wow. into Grady. Left-handed layup is good. What? And when I say whips a pass, she it did it. She did. And the big thing is Addy O'Grady caught it and finished it, and it was a great pick-and-roll play. As Clark mm -hmm. fires a three-pointer yeah. from 26 feet left wing, Caitlin Clark, a three in transition. That three was shot very differently than her very first three, so much more confidence, felt much more fluid. The steal by Kate Martin. Drives down, oh. and then a behind-the-back pass from the right side to the left side, and the layup good by Caitlin Clark. How about that so pass? So pretty. That was, uh, God, I love Kate Martin. Flips a pass back to Clark, drives in, shot is up with the left hand, count it, and she is fouled. Contact on her way up. She throws it away into the hands of Taiwo, drives down the right side of the lane, little up and under move off the window. That was a finish. I like it. Caitlin angles right side, drives all the way, scoop, layup, good. Caitlin says, yes, we can. That's her easiest two <laughs> of the first half. And Caitlin Clark with 18. Her Taiwo nets a three-pointer right in front of the Iowa bench on the right wing. Tommy Taiwo with five. Yes. And it's 53-27 Iowa. Rebound down to Caitlin Clark. Lob pass down court Woo. to Martin. Catches in stride and lays it up and in. Just wow. curled it up over the right side of the iron. That's a dime right there. That is a dime on point. Um, I'm really proud of the, of the women that stepped up tonight. Tommy, Kylie, you know, moving into a starting position. I thought Sid and Addie played great coming off the bench. Addie has a career high, what, 16 points? Shoots seven for nine from the field. Sid has eight rebounds. So they did some great things. Um, you know, just really, Really proud of them, you know, for coming in. Hawks win it. Woo. Hawks win, Hawks win. 84 to 50. The competition certainly ramps up tonight as Iowa takes on the number six Michigan Wolverines. Caitlin Clark will pull from 16 and rolls this one in. Straight away, the Hawks are on the board. She was really into that pull up. To the paint. Now back to Martin, she'll fire again and knock this three-pointer down from the top of the key. Kate Martin with five, and Clark off the dribble, pulls up from the top of the key, a deep three-pointer, and gets it to go. You know, I'm, I'm proud of our team. You know, we come in here, they're ranked number six in the country, they've won how many row, and we're down two starters. I know they're down one, but we're down two starters, two of our best three-point shooters, our best defensive player, our power forward, and come out here and battle to the very end. So I'm, I'm really proud of our team's effort. I thought they did a great job handling this and we're ready to move on. 7.4 oh! and a deep three by just, Caitlin Clark. I mean, she had barely crossed the half court line. Well, she was practicing those from the big M. That's three strides over half court That's and nine all point. net. That's mine. In the paint, drives in, layup is good. Oh, Got it finish. to go and felt like she was hitting the head and probably was. And a three-pointer by Clark from the M. That was two big strides past half court. Fires a three-pointer, swishes this one just right at the top of the key. I can't believe they're not calling all this body on. That's a foul. And Clark and knocks it. down a three-pointer again from the top of the key. I think that just is a testament to our team. Obviously down two starters, only two bench players. You know, that's kind of what this has all been about. Um, faced a lot of adversity these past couple of weeks, but I think that's only going to make us stronger in the, in the long run. Yeah, it, I don't like losing. It's not fun. I want to win every single time. But, um, you know, I think a lot of people stepped up and played really well. I think Sydney played really well tonight. Um, you know, and we gave it everything we had. I mean, that's the sixth ranked team in the country. Um, one of the best players in the country, um, one of the best defenses in the country. Um, on their home court and you lose by eight and there's a lot of things we didn't do very well. I mean, I think that's pretty promising, especially when you get two of your best players, two of your starters back. Um, and well, yeah, I mean, I think that's encouraging. Obviously, we would have liked to win today though. The Heartland is brought to you by Hy-Vee, the official grocery partner of Iowa Hawkeye football. Hy-Vee, where there's a helpful smile in every aisle. And by the University of Iowa Healthcare, changing medicine, changing lives. Welcome into Carver Hawkeye Arena, and we get ready for the final home duel of the 2022 season. Hawkeyes uh, looking to bounce back, and they are taking on a Wisconsin team that is, they are 9 and 1 so far in duels this year. Austin DeSanto already out onto the mat. Man, Austin DeSanto is just a hammer right now. He wastes no time. Shot a double. Didn't get it. Comes back out. 
snap, go behind. You know, it just relentless offensive attack right now out of, out of Austin Stanley. God, I love the energy of this kid right now. Look at the standing ovation by the crowd right now. See, one of the that's seniors. why he is, he is one of the crowd favorites right there. He's shot by Ironman, a double leg, cuts off to a single leg and gets a two-point takedown. Get the ankle a little bit, maybe. Slide by it's and he a gets slide by and gets a two. With wow. three seconds left. Wow. Point for riding time. He's going to win 13 to five. Only Jay Nyerman. Only Jay Nyerman. Now we got Caleb Young, another secret coming out on the mat. Last match in Carver Hawkeye Arena for him as well, too. Nice ankle pick right there, right by by uh, Young, and he cuts off to a two-point takedown, like to a double right there. Great wrestling by Caleb Young. He's going to get a point for writing time. He's going to close out his Carver career with an eight to three victory. He's Alex Marinelli in on a shot right now. Taking on Dean Hamity, record of the 17 and 0 record. And Marinelli finishes for the two. Stands up to his feet. Now looks to jump down and drives in for the two. Nice job by Alex Marinelli there. Congratulations to Alex Marinelli. That was a really well wrestled match right there by Alex Marinelli. I'm not going to be able to to compete for Iowa on the Carver mat again, but um, you know, I'm, I'm grateful for the opportunity and I hope I uh, entertained the crowd while I was here. So. Yeah. Release him. I look Hope's for a cradle. cradle in. And rolls it through. Over. Getting near falls. And we're trying to get that leg up over the head, settling down. Oh, that's tight. Cranking Man, that's back tight. Up a little bit more. Michael Kimmerer. Hot fans to their feet, loving this for their senior. Wrestling out there is awesome. Wrestling after Alex Marinelli, or earlier in my career before Alex Marinelli. It's an absolute pleasure. And like I said, you can't really put in the words. It's, it's been awesome. Move to 184 pounds. Dave Asad for the Hawkeyes takes Asad in on a shot. Cuts across to the far ankle. Couldn't quite get it. Able to stay with it though and gets up over the hips for the two. Move to 197 pounds. Fourth rank Jacob Warner for the Hawkeyes. Number 22, Braxton Amos. 105 in regulation. 1-1 one, one score. Riding time not a factor. Warner on a shot. Trying to elevate with it. Amos trying to kick away. We almost grabbed that far ankle. Stand back up with it. Amos reaching back, we go outside, trip, come up over the hips for two. Get ready for the heavyweights, Tony Cassiope against Trent Hilger. Drag attempt to a three shot. Yeah, nice wrestling right there by Tony Cassiope, and boom, two point takedown. Hawkeyes will defeat Wisconsin by a score of 29 to six. When you're dealing with young people, there's just a lot of pitfalls in the world, and you don't know what you're getting, even though you do your job as a recruiter, and what you ended up with, um, with those two in particular, and really the group, is some really good people that are solid. And they care about each other, and they care about the future, and they care about their team. And so the place is better because of them. And that's a really good feeling. But like I said, there's a lot of work to do, and you know, and I, I mean, today's a, it's a special day. Today's broadcast is sponsored by Xtreme, powered by Mediacom, the internet preferred by Hawk fans. U.S. Cellular, America's locally grown wireless and the official wireless provider of the Iowa Hawkeyes. Good evening, everyone. Welcome to Carver Hawkeye Arena and Iowa Gymnastics. Well, Iowa welcomes tonight Penn State. It's going to be a good matchup. It's still early on in the season, and so the teams will just get more consistent as the season goes on. Oh, my goodness. She stuck it. That was a great ball from Linda. Allison Zelke will be up next for the Hawks. She's going to do a front handspring onto the board, and then a half on. Ooh. Oh, and she sticks the landing. That was a great ball from her, and to start from a 10-0, that's, there's minimal deduction in that, so that's going to be a good score. That'll bring Lauren Garrett up for the Hawks. Oh, she stuck it! Good way to go out of her ball career at Harvard. Huge Ray. She's gotten so much better on that than last season. She'll do a double A out this bout. Beautiful landing from Alex. That was a great routine on senior night for her. 
is a Higgins grip to a straddle Jaeger. She'll gear up for this double layout dismount. Stock landing, great finish to that routine. She's gonna do a back handspring, back layout, step out for her acro series. Solid. Let's see if she can get that landing here. And she does. Nice stuck. Dismount from Bridget. That was an awesome routine for her on senior night. Rock solid for Q. Round off double back. Stuck landing. Oh my goodness, Q. Stuck landing. She didn't even need to take a step on that. Huge. Full twisting double back. Really good landing. Full routine and Carver for Laura. I don't know what this score is, but I'm gonna go out on a limb. I was gonna count five, nine, nine points. Oh, 100%. It's always bittersweet um, the last time you compete in your home arena, but they're not done yet, so. Latham High Tech Seeds is proud to partner with the Iowa men's basketball team in raising money for every free throw made by the Hawkeyes all season long through the Hawkeye Charity Stripe Promotion. All proceeds benefit the American Cancer Society and Coaches vs. Cancer program here in the state of Iowa. Latham High Tech Seeds, cheering on the Hawkeyes from the free throw line and helping with cancer awareness efforts all across the state of Iowa. Today and every day, we celebrate the history of the women who built the foundation we stand on. How would young people yeah. today even know? Because they don't know the history. Yeah. They think what they've got today, women have had forever. I was told, in no uncertain terms, women were not interested in sport. I mean, don't you find that hard to yeah. believe? Well, I, I couldn't accept that. To the women who revolutionized sports for us, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. But we are not done. We are here to move her forward. To empower the next generation. And to remind everyone that not only are women interested in sports. We belong in sports. This has been a presentation from Learfield.